Hi, this is Carrie from Scrapyard Chicks, and I am just showing off our project for the week. And it is this really fun little book. Um, it's a six by six, and I like to call it a six by six from scratch because these pages are all made um, with just plain pattern paper, or you can do it with cardstock. Each one of these is made with one 12 by 12. So we use three to make um, the, the page pockets, and then we used a couple more to do all of our fun photo mats. We've actually got a couple other little pockets in here as well. Um, I did this with a baby theme uh, with so that you could do it as a baby gift. One of our friends just had a new baby girl, so I thought it'd be kind of a nice little um, present to give them. I added some buttons, some trim, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, anyway, so this is a really fun project. Uh, it's a really simple one to put together, and you can make it sort of as elaborate or as simple as you want it to be, kind of depending on what you choose for your materials. If you're one of our subscribers, go ahead and stay tuned, and I'll be back with our step-by-step -step directions um, to complete this. And if not, but you're interested in subscribing to our weekly projects, just go to our website at scrapyardchicks.com. Thanks. Okay, so we are going to start out with the construction of our book. So you want to start out with a 12 by 12 piece of paper, and we are going to score this at 3 and at 9, um, just like this. Now one thing that you want to be aware of is when you're using a pattern is that the book is actually going to be constructed this way. So this is your 3 and your 9, so you want to be thinking about how your pattern is going to look on that. So. Um, so you're going to, we're going to score it at 3 and at 9, and then we're just going to go ahead and fold that along those score lines. Um, this is just a really cute... So we're basically going to make like a tube, like this. And then you can add a little bit of ink around the edges if you like. And I'm going to have this as the outside of my front cover. So then I've got these pieces like this. So then what I've done is I cut some 1 by 12 strips of another pattern paper, and I'm going to put adhesive on there, and I'm going to seal up um, my two. And you want to make sure you, you, you use quite a lot. Uh, you want to go all the way around the perimeter of this, this strip because um, it is going to get pulled on and, and such. So you want to make sure that you really um, get a lot of adhesive on there. Okay, so we're just going to go like this, and we're just going to... Um, just center that along that paper seam like this. We're just going to go ahead and seal up that tube so it, ha it looks like this. Now you could, well, mine's really crooked, sorry about that, but you know it's going to be folded, so we're not going to see that. You could use that for the outside if you wanted to. I'm actually going to use just the plane for the outside, but you could definitely use that stripe along the outside. And then one more little step, this is really thick paper, so I'm going to go ahead and score another line at six inches, which is just going to make folding just a little easier with this particular paper line. This stuff is really thick. So that is my first set of pages. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my one and a half inch circle punch. Okay, sorry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, insert my one and a half inch circle punch right here. And I'm going to punch out a thumb hole. And I'm going to do that on each side of this particular pocket. because we're going to use these as pockets and we're going to insert some photo mats in there. So that's going to be our first page. Now I already did the middle page, the same exact technique. I need to do my thumb pulls there. But I'm going to show you what you can do if you want to do a different kind of pocket. So for this one, I scored it at my 3 and my 9. And then I went ahead and I folded it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut off that top flap right there and it's going to create a different kind of pocket. And I really wanted to do that with this paper because it's got this really pretty other side to it. So we're going to put this in as our second page. So then I've got my long strip. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put that um, right along there. And I'm just going to use a little adhesive on the edge just to seal that up. You could stitch it if you wanted to. You could fasten it down with brads. You know, there's all kinds of different... Uh, things that you can do to make that fancy like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and seal up my pocket and then I'm going to go ahead and put um, my 1 by 12 strip of contrasting paper and instead of sealing up my tube it's just going to act as just sort of an adornment um, along that edge right here. Let's do like this. And you could do this with a cute um, edge scissor or something like that. 
And then, um, once again, I went ahead and I scored it at six inches so that it makes a great, um, it makes for a great fold. So what I've got so far is I've got my first pocket that I'm going to use for my cover. I'm going to go ahead and put, you know what, actually I think I'm going to fold this the other way so my pockets go like that. How about that? Um, I'm going to put this in next to it like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my orange piece in the very center. So let me, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and line those three up. And then I'm just going to punch holes, and I'm, we're just going to tie this together. So I'm just going to use my crocodile. I'm just going to reach it in as far as I can. I'm going to punch right along that folded binding like that. And then it takes about a foot of ribbon. You could, of course, use more if you wanted to. Um, and you're just going to you're just going to bring it from the inside of the book. like this, and then you're just going to tie it on the outside. And that is all there is to our book construction for this. It's a really simple book. It's a great one for a gift because it really doesn't take very much paper. Now for this one, I used, I think, six different patterns because I really like this paper line. And we had a little bit of it left over after we did our baby pages kits. So you see, I'm just going to go ahead and tie that in a knot. And my book is really chunky because my paper is really thick. But look how cute that is. You've got all you've got these little pockets like this. You've got these pocket inserts. You've got these extra little pages. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and you've got this really cute center with this um, cute little strip there. I'm going to go ahead and finish up our project. And then I'll be back to show you what it looks like with all of the pages embellished. Okay, I'm back with our finished book. And so I went ahead and so we had the last thing we did, we had tied all the pages together. So I went through and I just added some pieces to the inside. So for, in each one of the pockets, I did a separate little insert card. And these are five and three quarters by five and three quarter. Um, and that way you can just add some extra pictures. So I did different kinds of little pulls on each one. And this is all in your directions. So you can kind of see I used some buttons, I used some ribbon, all the really cute stuff for a baby book. Um, some a scallop border or some scallop punches. Um, then we I did a couple little tags to go inside those other pockets. These are about three by five and a half. And then I just use you can staple things on. I use some buttons. Um, you can just see lots of different stuff there. So this is a really cute paper line. So I used some of the paper and kind of cut it. Um, added some buttons here. Um, some little photo mats. You could add tags. You could use them em add embellishments. There's just all kinds of different sorts of things that you can do. Um, here's the last one. You can do some buttons on your tags and that type of thing. Um, on the front cover, I did actually, um, I did a circle and then I cut it with a pair of, remember these? Uh, these paper edgers that I think everybody bought like every kind of these. And then I use them once in a while still on my stuff because they just add a nice little touch. So I did a larger circle. Um, I cut it with the paper edgers and then I went ahead and I, I traced a smaller circle off my paper to get that cute little moon on there, a um, little tag on the front so you could personalize this for whoever you're giving it to. So anyway, this is our book, so isn't that cute? Um, you could try to add more pages. My paper is so thick, I don't think I could do more than three of those pockets, but you could certainly try if you wanted to. Um, and anyway, this is our project for the week. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you next week. Thanks.